D2DNY Real World HVAC Simplified and now in this video I'll be replacing this Taiko hot water circulator pump my tools right here this is the tools I'm be using all right on this screwdriver as well to the pump uh, so here's the pump so here's the pump this is what comes in the box Taiko 007F5 115 volts okay also you got you get uh, two gaskets rubber gaskets mm -hmm. and uh, oh, what's this a piece of paper uh, instructions applications all right I guess it's a little bit of instructions uh, but basically these pumps you know they're used on hot water system um, hot water heating system uh, primarily in homes and other places but in this particular case this is a snow melt system okay so we got this one right here is bad because they got a cover already off of it it burnt out actually it's grounded because uh it blew the fuse in this zone panel there's also a takeo panel uh sr506 so we've got the screws out of this one as well the screws is already out so actually here this is right here this is schematic wire and diagram on this thing and some instructions but um i'm gonna show you right here there's a blown fuse for five this is the wire that's disconnected i pulled the wire out um it was connected uh see how this is zone four and the wire is here right on the hot uh, i guess they are, they are the neutral is already spliced so only needed to use the hot so you see zone four is on that this one is from zone five which is right here and you can see get my, get my light there's my light okay no light let me get uh, the phone light on the camera please all right but there's a fuse right here right this fuse right here it's blown okay so i'm gonna be switching this fuse from here and putting it over here okay because the pump was grounded the motor was grounded so yeah here it is got a valve closed that's the first step i'm gonna disconnect the wires and pull these four bolts two up top two on the bottom and i'm gonna install the pump with a new gasket so stay tuned okay so pretty much what you will need i was able to use only this adjustable wrench right here um, to get the bolts loose to get these bolts loosed see just the adjustable wrench you know it wasn't crazy tight but if it's if it's really tight you're gonna need uh something else to hold back so you know you're gonna need like a channel lock right here if you use channel lock in the bottom while you doing the nut up top with the adjustable wrench so you know this 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 was able to do it um also see so you got two wire nuts here you know these was on the uh the, the, the power wires the wire that's powering the pump okay just uh pull them off like that easy and then uh you know this right here you uh you can use your screwdriver right so again this is a snow melt system snow melt system these same pumps they're, they're utilized are being used you know on hot water boilers so same thing but this is a snow melt system as you can see you got all the pecs going out under the concrete under the ground there are five zones in this system here oh by the way let me just point out the fuse okay see right there you can see that fuse is burnt that's number five fuse so sometimes if these things doesn't work and you get a zone panel like this you want to make sure you check because there's fuses for every zone in the bottom there as you can see so number five fuse you can see that it's black 
okay that's burnt see that's good five is black okay so yes yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out um and then I'll do another clip while this while the pump is out completely let's connect it again you know, it's already loose so I can just use my hand right here and just you know finish it off the bottom the bottom screws screws in the bottom is loose as well okay all right so you make everything loose see I can just unscrew it with my hands all right so stay tuned now, if you hadn't subscribed go subscribe and uh, smash that notification icon so that when I uh, do videos like this you get it right away all right just want to show you of the uh, the nut of the BX connector see it was on here like this so you see I was using my screwdriver to loosen it up is it loose you just take your hand and finish you know, unscrewing it there you go okay so there you go the pump is out here it is okay now it's very important when you remove the pump you got to take note of the, the direction of the arrow All right so there's an arrow in the back of the pump there's an arrow right is the arrow and it's pointing a direction you got to make sure you reinstall it in the same orientation which you remove it okay that's important so in this case this was in like this you know i can't put it in like this because then it's going to be the wrong flow got to put it in like this the same way how you remove it take a picture do a video got to go back in the same way now again this is a, uh here's a, here's a tip this pump this motor was grounded but other times it could be faulty wires and the fuse in, in this zone panel is going to be blown and you'll be thinking that you have a bad motor. So check your fuses first. All right. So let's say tip. So that's the old th thing right here. Just make sure you remove the, uh, the old gasket. Comes up really easy. So this is one of the gasket right here. That's the garbage. Because I got new, I got new gasket. Here are the bolts and screws that comes along with it. That was in the uh, hole in the pump. Here's another gasket up top. Get a that out but uh you get a gif it's pretty easy um stay tuned while i have the other one in place right, if, the, if the gasket doesn't want to come out just use a screwdriver a screwdriver and you can just like use that and pry it out i can't even see what i'm doing i'm just feeling what i feel like i'm trying to hold the camera while i'm doing it but you see you get the idea come on come on right, there it is so just one hand there it is remember to take these out you could probably reuse them but uh just you know you don't want to have to put it in and take it back out because it's leaking so just get them out use a new one if it doesn't come out use your screwdriver to just pry it out all right okay so here's a new pump i got a gasket sitting on it now again if you haven't subscribed go subscribe hit that smash that notification icon I upload videos like this on a weekly basis, so you don't want to miss out. So you got the gasket. It will pretty much stay there. Let me see. All right, so it doesn't, doesn't fall out. There's a groove on the pump. So you can just take your time and slide it in. Okay. So, oh, just fill out. But you, you, you get the idea. You know, if you're gentle with it, if you're gentle with it, it won't fall out. See, if I shake it, it fall out. But um, you get it, Jess. Just. just put it in there. It will sit there. Just be gentle and slide it in. So stay tuned okay so here we are again so the pump the new pump is in place just gotta tie it down you can hand tie hand tight these nuts all the way up and then you use the wrench so you can use you know probably gonna need two wrenches because you know you're gonna need one to hold the bottom and you're gonna have to put the bolts from the bottom and nuts on top just for accessibility all right just exactly you see these here right where the nut comes in from the bottom or from the inside of the pump and the bolts on the outside other way you'll be struggling to get it in all right and then you're probably going to need a uh, second wrench a small a small channel lock like i have here just to hold back here while i use that just so we wrench to tighten on the nut and one thing you want to make sure is that the gasket 
sits in the groove you see the groove on the pump make sure otherwise you're gonna have leaks make sure the gasket sits perfectly and flush you see that right there so you can see my gasket is sitting in the groove the pipe is a little bit cocked but once I bolt it down it's gonna be flush but it's the gasket is in the groove okay okay so I'm gonna wrap this video up so the pump has already been installed you can see um, top is tightened down bottom tightened down flushed uh, the valves open just got to put these uh, two wires on see one here and the other these two wires you splice them one you know one goes on this one like that and the other one goes on that one like that you know straightforward doesn't matter which way just put them either way using those wire nuts again if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed subscribe we just come up uploaded on a weekly basis okay okay so that the wire is connected as you can see there you go there you go oh this light is kind of bright it's kind of bright this isn't it I'll lower the light a little bit so i can see one wire and the other wire just two wires right straightforward all right i'm sure this is tight all the way okay yeah so now i'm just gonna put it's gonna sit, replace this this blown fuse over here that blown fuse right there number five let me see if I can zoom in on that can I zoom in yes so you can see number five is blown and make sure you turn the power off before you do this you see number five is clearly blown all right let me uh pull that fuse out and uh show you guys there's the fuse fuses out so uh, here's a spare fuse that comes in this thing right here but it's already it was already been used another spare fuse um so yeah i got the uh wires back in place i took the fuse from the six six zone because that's not been used put it on five so it's gonna power on right now all right got green light so i got power and i'm gonna power up zone five yeah i'm sure you can hear that i don't know if you can but i can because it's running it's running baby and you gotta check for leaks all right so yeah that's pretty much it guys that's it snow melt system i'm gonna have to build the pressures back up a little bit because it fell it dropped lost a little bit of fluid on the secondary side okay there's a heat exchanger all right these two pipes right here goes back to the boiler and then that's the boiler side of each heat exchanger and then uh over here that goes to the snow melt okay so